A title, Enhancing Agency Policies to Address Abuse Across the Lifespan. Bonnie Brandle, Director, National Clearinghouse on Abuse in Later Life and Domestic Abuse, Wisconsin. Reviewing our policies internally in domestic violence and sexual assault programs is crucial and then involving people who might be served um, from a variety of communities in that process uh, is vital to making sure that the policies address the needs of those various populations. So specifically when we're thinking about older adults, one of the first things that I would consider is looking at the, your board of directors and how many older adults are in a position where they're meeting regularly on the board of directors um, as policy issues are coming up and being addressed to be sure that there are not unintended consequences that come from potential policy changes. Second thing I would think about is doing an analysis periodically of your policies. Um, on our website, uh, the National Clearinghouse on Abuse and Later Life, we have a self-assessment tool that might be helpful in terms of doing that policy analysis where you can look at questions under a variety of categories like access and safety planning and uh, sort of look at where you might be in relation to some of the questions there. Is this something you do already um, and feel very strong in? Uh, something you're kind of sort of doing and you wish you could do better? Something you'd never thought about before and might be a good idea? Or something you read it and think, boy, that's just not a good fit for us at all. Interesting idea, maybe works elsewhere, not something we would do. And that tool is a nice way to sort of look comprehensively from beginning to end at your programming. Um, it's designed to be done with a team of staff but could certainly involve the input of older adults as well as part of that conversation. Um, I would also think about conducting listening sessions or focus groups with older adults to get some feedback. Um, and then finally, you've got a great opportunity if you're out doing presentations to older adults um, at some point in the presentation to just ask, what do you hear about our services? What do you know about what we do? See if it actually connects with what you are doing. Are there gaps in their knowledge? And what is your reputation with this particular um, population? Have they heard good things? Do they know people who have used your services? Um, my experience has been when I ask that question um, about local programs that they off, older adults will often say to me, I would refer my granddaughter there. I think they do great work. I have heard great things, but they never make the connection that it might be a place for them. And so um, that's an easy way to, to begin to gather some data and information. Logos appear. End call www.ncall.us. Terranova Films, terranova.org. Funded by the U.S. Department of Justice, Office on Violence Against Women, and Elder Justice Initiative. www.justice.gov slash elderjustice. A disclaimer. This project was supported by grant number 2014 AXTA K050, awarded by the Office on Violence Against Women and by the Elder Justice Initiative, U.S. Department of Justice. The opinions, findings, conclusions, and recommendations expressed in this program are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Department of Justice, Office on Violence Against Women, or the Elder Justice Initiative.